Right, in this video, uh, we'll be learning GitHub. So if we're done learning Git, so let's see how we can actually learn GitHub. So one thing GitHub helps us to do, it helps us to collaborate. That means two, three developers can be working on a single project from different location, from different locations, and um, they'll be able to work effectively, right? So all they need is to create different branches, upload it, and um, send a commit, and and um, when the the project coordinator sees these things and any brand that is working fine, he can actually merge that particular branch to the master branch, right? So let's proceed. Now, there are three major things we want to learn whenever we are working with GitHub, right? So we want to learn, we want to learn what we call push, clone, and pull. So those are the three major things you want to learn. So what is push? So push basically is just up uploading our local um, GitHub repository to a remote repository, like from Git from a local machine to GitHub, which is a remote repository, right? Then um, the, the second one what we want to learn is clone. So clone basically is to download um, our remote um, repository, right, that we already have. Why the third one is pool, right? Pool basically is to download the updates from our remote um, repository. So let's see how we can use these three aspects of GitHub to actually um, run basic stuff on GitHub to get started. So we'll look at some of the basic functionality to actually run GitHub. So let's basically, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is um, actually go to github.com and open a simple account with them. So you go to github.com, you click on create account, then you create an account. So once you create an account, you definitely see um, something like this, right? So the next thing you want to do is either to click on start a project or create a repository. So for us, we want to create a repository, so that's what you want to do. So you create on create a repository to create your first repository, right? So create this repository under the eye. And the repository name is going to be like any name that, that's the name of the project, the name of the application, right? So basically, I'm just going to call this one um, git underscore toot, right? So I'll call it git underscore toot, right? So the description empty. If you can leave it public so that everybody can access it, if you don't, everybody access it, you can put it on private, right? So for now, we'll leave it on public, and that is all. You just click on create. Now you click on create repository, automatically you have a repository here and they're already telling you what to do to get started with this repository. They're telling you how to initialize um, your project, make your first comment and um, basically add it, right? So basically we've done a couple of that on our project that we're working on. So um, we have this project that we're working on, right? So we've done a couple of that. So let's see how we can actually upload this project to um, GitHub so that other developers can actually um, clone it or download it and work on it or other developers that are working on, on that particular project. So the first thing that we want to do is to add um, remote, right? So, uh, so the first thing you want to do is to check if you have um, a remote um, repository in the first place. So how do we do that? My document here, you can see we say git remote. So with git remote, we can check if we have a remote origin in the first place, right? So we'll click on, we'll type git remote, right? So if it's not showing anything, that means we do not have remote origin in the first place. And the second one is to connect to a remote repository, right? So how do we connect to a remote repository? We just, we just type git remote add URL. And that is the exact thing they are, they are telling us to do here. We have git remote add remote URL. That's the exact thing they're telling us to do here, right? So we'll just copy that line. We'll come here, we'll paste it, and we'll hit enter. So when we hit enter, we'll go back to git remote, we'll see that, we'll see that a remote origin already exists. So the next thing is actually just to push it, right? So if we're pushing it and updating the master one immediately, so we're going to put go, go with git push, and basically we'll just push that to our remote, and it's done. So it will just load for some time, and... Um, so basically, if you're not logged in, it will ask you to actually log in. I'm already logged in, so it didn't ask me to log in. So if you're not logged in, it will ask you to enter your GitHub username and password, blah, blah, blah. So you'll be able to actually push that, right? So basically, I've actually pushed that to this repo. So if I refresh this right now, you see that everything has been actually uploaded, right? My readme file um, um, has been uploaded as well and stuff like that. So basically, so I guess I've created the readme file before. Has been uploaded right so this is how we actually um 
push stuff to our remote repository. So once you make once you make changes, once you're already connected, once you make changes, you don't need to just type git push and your changes will be affected, right? Now, what if you're not the one creating the project, the repo, and you're working on another repo? So how do you do it, right? You use git clone to actually download the existing rep repository. Or better still, anybody that have this, um, this particular file, once they click here, they can actually click here and download this particular zip manually or better still just copy this URL and use um, the git clone to actually download it. And once they are done downloading it and they can work on it and um, leave a commit on it, then they can use git um, pull, you can use git pull to update it to download the latest update of that particular repository or better still, you use um, git push you use um, git push actually update it so basically that's how one does that those are the one of the ways you work with github so thank you guys for joining this and um, hopefully hopefully you enjoy um collaborating with other developers and as well as managing your application using gates